There's no question we have been very lucky this year. Only a few small fires and those quickly put out. But the fact is the mountain remains very dry and the danger is real. We like to help and we like to be part of the community. It's become an annual tradition on the mountain. Beer cans, rip up shirts, dog waste. An autumn cleanup organized by Land Care Landscaping for Jose Perez, his chance to protect our natural resources. There was uh, some leftovers of fire up in there and we just kind of throw some dirt on it. So it was pretty nice. And, uh, An I mean, illegal campfire. Yeah illegal campfire. And that is a big concern. Dried out grass and brush are everywhere. And with our neighbors to the south battling one wildfire after another in California, it is clear fire season is far from over. So there's our main equipment besides the water, chainsaws, hand tools. Joshua Constable is a firefighter with the U.S. Forest Service who just returned from a two week stint assisting California crews. The Santa Ana winds, he says, can be the biggest problem. 80, 70 mile an hour winds, you know, it's just unstoppable until you get miles ahead of them. So whatever's in its path, it's in its path. But we have a different ecosystem here. In California, they have a lot of manzanita and chaparral, things that are much more combustible. And a lot has been done to protect our mountains. In the past dozen years, fire breaks have been put in around subdivisions and campgrounds. Trees remain, but the underbrush is gone. Still, experts say fire season is getting longer. And the fires that we respond to um, are becoming bigger and more intense. With the climate change or whatever it may be, but we're fighting fire all the way through December and rolls into the next year. Back at the cleanup. What you're fine Or a quarter pounder from McDonald's. Volunteers do their part to make the trails look good. Keeping them fire safe, that is everyone's job. Denise Roche, News 3.